What's going on, everybody? Doing something a little different here. <laughs> I think it's been forever since I did a, uh, I've done a top-down view, and I decided it was time to kind of mix things up a little bit. So I'm sure you guys are kind of tired of seeing my ugly mug, so I wanted to do a top-down view, and in the future I'll probably do videos where I combine both, actually. But for this video, I wanted to talk to you about the four, 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 <laughs> small knives that I actually enjoy, and this top-down view is kind of perfect for it. So, in no particular order, these are my fit, my four favorite small knives. I've got them over here, not on display, so you can see what each of them one at a time. The first one is the Null Knives Grace. This thing is awesome. This is a Sharif knife if I ever saw one, man. You've got this compound grind. You've got this kind of extreme, um, almost, uh, almost Japanese Tonto style tip that goes into a recurve and a sort of semi persian -y slash semi-clip pointy blade. The grinds are phenomenal. The thumb studs are just absolutely gorgeous and they work incredibly well. Blade stock is not overly thick. I wouldn't mind if the blade stock was a bit thinner or thicker, but you also have contoured scales, which yeah, you should be able to see right there, which is really dope. Sorry, I'm getting used to the top-down view. You also have a pseudo-floating backspacer. And I say pseudo because it's not really as pronounced, I feel, as it could have been. You have a titanium pocket clip that actually is contoured as well. You can see that there. And just overall, like, beautiful fit and finish in action. What's really funny about this guy is couple of things. One, it just barely fits my fingers, right? So like I can get two there, I can get two in the back, and I can really grip it tight. It's a little bit more comfortable if I choke up onto this little flat section here. I can really get my full fist on that thing very, very easily and kind of disappears in my hand, you know? But I love the style of this knife. And the other funny thing about this knife for me, well, as you can see, I've used mine a bit. Um, when I bought this, I was under the impression that Null Knives used Best Tech exclusively for making their products. And uh, honestly, uh, when I held this, I was like, man, this doesn't feel like a Best Tech. Best Tech has certain feel to their, their products. And this one absolutely felt like a Riot to me. And then I went and I researched it a little bit more and turns out I was right. This is actually Riot made, which is phenomenal. I mean, I, I love Riot made knives. They have a really, really high quality uh, feel to them. If you guys didn't know, this was a collaboration with Corbin Steelworks and Null Knives, and I think it is phenomenal. This really turned me on to Corbin Steelworks, and just from like a design point of view, the the ergos, the utility, the style, like every part of this thing appeals to me, and I usually can't say that about smaller knives. What is interesting at least for me, one weird part is this gigantic choil. It's not a place for a finger unless you've got small, tiny lady fingers. You know, you can't like, I mean, I can kind of put my index finger in there and choke up a little bit like this, but it's not really comfortable. My middle finger falls onto this peak right here in this grip. So it's not something that I would do. And this this heel of the the edge is is fairly sharp. I mean, you can see like it gets down. God, I gotta figure out how to position things, 
but it gets down thin, like it sharpens straight to the edge. So it's not a position that I, I feel comfortable really gripping, and I don't really understand why it needed to be so large, but it is what it is, and it doesn't detract from my enjoyment of this knife, and I feel that when I kind of like choke up, I'm not worried about getting media in there uh, because when I'm in the choke up grip, my finger kind of meat overlaps a little bit. So I, I can place the knife well and consistently for, for cutting media. So yeah, this is the first one. This is the Corbin Steelworks Null Knives Grace. Absolutely lovely small knife. And you guys would probably assume that I don't like small knives because of my big ham hock hands. But when it's done well, a small knife is actually really great. And for me, a small knife is a knife that's about like 3.3 inches or below. And the next one in that category is this guy. The Alliance Designs Kraken done with, uh, if I'm not mistaken, um, uh, Christensen. Yeah, this thing is sex on a stick, man. Another Riot made, you know, knife compound grind, very similar to the Grace. You'll see that theme a little bit with these knives. Thumb studs, or not thumb studs, sorry, thumb disc. I'm a huge thumb disc fan. Gives you a nice, huge area to like place your thumb, gives you really nice control over the edge, large flat section here with a reinforced tip, just bolster lock. Again, if there's things that say Sharif in a knife, this has damn near all of them. The one thing I will say is that this thing has a firm detent, like really firm detent. You can see like it fires out aggressively, almost like a, a Pro-Tech uh, Auto, and it really wants to jump. So you got to have like a firm grip on it. You have the anodized pivot collar, which is really nice. That's on both sides. Act as, acts as an over-travel stop. You have this really nice curved pocket clip, which just is so smooth and so comfortable and just really nice action all around. I love this thing. And I'm just so fascinated with how they took this handle shape and were able to so effortlessly hide the blade shape within it. Uh, it's really like just a masterpiece of matching handle to blade and your, your overall blade to handle ratio is just spot on, you know? And really, you get, like, no waste at the end. Just a really, really, really nice knife. And done with just wonderful materials. And just, I don't know, man. It's, it's very clean, very nice. Oh, I will say the one thing that really did surprise me was kind of how beefy it is. If you look between the Grace and this guy, it's noticeably thicker, which is really actually somewhat cool. Like, it's a small knife that feels like a big knife. And you don't feel like if you've got bigger hands, you really don't feel like you're grabbing on something small. You're like, ugh, this thing is, is hand filling, which is really nice. My only critique of this thing is maybe this index choil is a touch on the large side, which is surprising for me to say. You know, it ends up, you know, kind of forcing you back a little bit in the knife. If it was a little bit smaller, I would be a little bit more uh, up here with it, you know, towards towards the, the, uh, the edge of the handle. But instead, like, in order to get good centering on it, like, it kind of forces my grip back a little bit. That would be my only critique on this guy. But otherwise, like, a fucking phenomenal knife with just kind of insane action. 
Next one, this is one of my all-time favorites. And that is the Alliance Designs Laconico Easy E. This is a bit of a departure for Laconico, actually, to do like an American Tonto, simple candy bar shape sort of uh, scales and handle. But this thing flows and works so well. Again, you see the repeat of the theme for me, hollow grind, reinforced tip. This swedge up here is one of my absolute all-time favorite details about this knife. You're also going to see with this guy, you have contoured scales and just clean lines all the way through. The typical Laconico pocket clip and bolster lock, which is just so nice. Action is smooth, not overly aggressive or snappy. One of the little uh, things that I, I like about this knife, like for me, I can get a good, you know, four finger grip. I would say it's like 3.75 of my fingers, but I never feel like I'm lacking in grip with this thing. However, this little section right here is a nice little choke up point. So if I really wanted to bear down on this knife, I can, which is awesome. And I don't know, this thing is so effortless and clean and just kind of well resolved from like a design point of view. Uh, there is actually nothing for me to critique about this knife. It is perfect in every way that I can see, which is awesome. I wouldn't even increase the size of this thing. I think it's perfect the way it is. And honestly, I'm a little upset with Alliance Designs doing the 2.0 and kind of tweaking it because I felt like the original was, was right in every single regard. And I mean, look at how nicely that blade tucks away. It's almost like a CEO or like a Boker Quaken where like the blade completely hides. But all you do get to see is this little swedge that's sticking out of it. And I, again, I love that detail, man. You have the Laconico on the back there. And it's just clean. You would think that with this sort of cut out here that you wouldn't have good lock bar access, but you do. It's consistent. You can grab it very easily and just this is as close to a perfect knife as I can imagine being in this size. And uh, surprise, surprise, it's a Laconico. <laughs> really, like just phenomenal. The last but not least is the only one that kind of breaks this trend of like contoured handles with micarta, with compound grinds. And that's the Pena Mula. There is a version of this that does have inlaid micarta, and I wish I knew that he was going to do that. I would have snagged one of those over this, but to get the drop point with the inlaid micarta is, like, incredibly hard. Regardless, you have almost like a traditional tactical knife shrunk down, which is really cool actually I kind of dig that you've got the drop point with the traditional sort of like tactical knife swedge right up here and just like the grinds look like any sort of like traditional tactical knife you've got the simple handle you've got a nice choke up spot here where you can index your finger you know kind of get a nice like pinch grip nice choke up grip you have a thumb ramp with jimping, which is really nice. In traditional tactical knife sort of construction, you have the stop pin, which goes across right here. You've got nice little titanium back spacer and beautiful thumb studs that just fire this thing out consistently. I'm pretty sure that I put skiffs in here. So the action is even smoother than it came with, like originally, but <laughs> it's just really, really nice through and through. This is, again, one of my favorites. I love Tenya, and 
with this thing, you can slow roll it, you can fire it out, you can reverse flick it. Like, there's just no, no limitation. And you can technically, like, kind of front flip it. This is hard to do under the camera, I'm not going to lie. But to me, it's not really meant for front flipping. But you can do it. I mean, I can. I have. I don't care for it. Overall, though, really phenomenal knife, and also, like the others, Riot made. <laughs> All of this to say is, like, Riot makes really bomb knives. They do, like, great collaborations consistently, which is one of the reasons that I really appreciate them. But the fit and finish, the quality on every single one of these is top tier, and this is my short list for, like, just phenomenal small knives. Now, there is one honorable mention, and I kind of hesitated to include it because it's a it's a bit of a departure from the styles of each one of them, and that's this guy. The Protex Strider PT Plus. I think this is a great little knife. Um, if I do have any criticisms of it, I do think that the the edge bevel degree per side needs to be laid back. I mean, this is a small, relatively thin, you know, potentially very slicey knife, and it comes with this kind of chunker edge, and it doesn't need it. Get this thing, lay it back to like 18 degrees per side, give it a nice toothy edge, and this thing is phenomenal. I did it with my other one. I haven't done it with this guy, but... Um, Really, really nice, small knife, good, not even good, great choke up ergonomics, really lightweight because the aluminum, just a phenomenal small knife. But, man, it's a tough call if I had to say that this one comes in here at the same level as the rest of these guys, eh, kind of tough, man. These, these, these dudes are pretty elite gotta say but that's not to say that this is a slouch this thing is phenomenal but honorable mention 100 percent honorable mention so hope you guys enjoyed that that was a little bit of a quick dive into my favorite small knives hope you guys enjoyed this new view and you guys will see more of it in the future all righty dudes peace <laughs>